and we're walking to the uh, the plane, and naturally I have the golf umbrella, and I kind of move over to the governor to put it over him. And the governor said, I don't need an umbrella. I have the raincoat on. He said, you take the umbrella. I'm okay. He said, I'll see you tomorrow morning, then we're going to do it again. And I said, okay, you know, great. We're looking forward to it. So closed the door on the plane, and, and that, that was the last I've seen of him. My name is Jerry Noctegall, and I'm Governor Carnahan's press secretary. It is with great sadness that we report that earlier this evening, a plane believed to be carrying Governor Mel Carnahan, his son Roger, and senior campaign advisor Chris Sifford went down in Jefferson County. There were no survivors. I've asked myself from time to time how a dead man could be elected to the U.S. Senate in Missouri. His death came at that time when he had just moved ahead in the polls and public opinion was moving with him. I think Mel Carnahan was elected because he showed people that he had worked in the vineyards all his life and he had done it with respect and honor. And I think it was their turn to honor him. He believed that people ought to do the right thing all the time. He was indeed a straight arrow. Uh, that's not just something that was an advertising gimmick. That's the way he was. I watched him veto the carrying concealed weapon legislation. I watched him stand up for women's reproductive freedoms in environments that were very tough. It taught me that you can take tough positions and as long as you can explain them and as long as you continue to work hard and as long as you never take voters for granted, then you can survive. I went out to Washington to work and I remember coming home and complaining about it and he sat me down and said, you know, most times in life, it's like you're in a big ship, you're a passenger and somebody else is steering, but every now and then you get to steer. And when you get to steer, you can make just a small course correction, but the difference that makes uh, on this long journey uh, will, will be really big. So don't get upset, just figure out where you can change course on these things and have a big impact. And so he really saw his time as governor as this gift and opportunity to change the state, the course of things for the state for the better. Didn't want to waste any time doing that. 